Mrs. Hold on, Roly Mo. Have you two boys been to the toilet? <laughs> yes. I went before we left home. How about you, Henry? I don't need to go. Oh, don't be a silly Billy. You'll only want to go in the middle of the film. <laughs> Off you go. Oh. I've just seen the scariest film ever. Not Gothel Monsters from Mars. Uh, I don't know. It's well scary. You don't want to see it, does he, Bert? Uh, I don't know. Yes, I do. But my Tony brother wants to see Happy Hippos. Happy Hippos? That's a baby film. You're going to see Happy Hippos. Ha ha. I didn't say I'm going to see it. <laughs> I'd like some popcorn too. You've got to share, Henry. Come on, Henry. Share with your brother. Here you go, worm. Ticket. What? Henry, where's your ticket? In there. Oh, Henry, you silly boy. Oh, I don't believe this. <laughs> it must be somewhere. Here, you have this, Peter. Hey! Oh, thanks. And um, uh, get him another ticket. Uh, you two go in. All right, Polly Body, but don't be long. We're happy and we're clappy. We're the happy hippos. Coming. Longer. Just one more lap. One more. Can't we rest? I feel great. <laughs> so do I. Come on, Dad. No time to lose. Oh. Breakfast time. Oh, good. I need a coffee. I need something stronger. Oh, I've already made. Breakfast. You have? What's this? It's an all-in-one breakfast. Cereal, milk, tea, egg, toast and jam. All mixed up together. <sighs> Saves time. Come on now, eat up. Get a move on. You've got ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight. <sighs> hmm, two minutes twenty. Not bad, but I think you can do better. Sorry, Henry. All ready to go, then. But it's only 5.45. I'll be way too early for work. Not if you walk. Walk? 
but it's miles. Walking's good for you. And it's good for the environment too. Hmm. Think of all the petrol you'll save. It's quicker if you run. What? I was watching that. Me too. Haven't you read your timetable? 7.30 to 8. Homework. But we haven't got any homework. What about that? Oh, yes. All those bills you're always saying you'll get round to. Oh, and don't forget that thank you letter you were going to write to Great Aunt Greta. <laughs> oh, yes. That too. In the dining room, please. Don't want you to be distracted, do we? to get everything done when you manage your time properly. <laughs> Have you seen my tie? Uh, uh, shall I lay the table? We've overslept. Henry, where are your trousers? Well, according to the timetable... Give me that timetable. No more stopwatches. No more time management. Let's just get on like we always do. It's so easy. and his dingbats and you'll get 10,000 extra points! Oh, that bit's easy. You just find your goose platter. Oh, look, I'll show you. This is an emergency. Get me the FBI, get me the CIA, get me anyone who listened. Now, if we can all just be quiet, I'm sure we can sort this out. Be quiet! So, what's the plan then? Well, I do something! We've got to do something! Well, if you do something! Maybe if we spread out, split up, start to look for her, we might find some clues. Good idea. Right, I'll take the left-hand side of the church. I'll take the right-hand side. And I'll take the middle. Detective Peter to the rescue! Ooh, I've always wanted to solve a real-life mystery. Ooh, a glue. Very interesting. Someone has been here before me. And my guess is that someone is Ickle Wickle Vera Wera. <laughs> I hear something. <laughs> yes, definitely, I can hear something. Mom! Dad! I found her! There they are, you mean? Henry? Is that my mobile phone? You worried boy! <laughs> oh, Henry! You found her! Well, actually... Oh, Henry! You found my Igmo Wickle Vera Wera! Oh, and just for that, I'm going to make you an honorary godfather! <laughs> What do you think about that? <laughs> Go away. <gasps> it's so easy being me. I'm Henry. What didn't you tell me, Worm? Tell you what, Henry? Tell me that there are only a few purple penny dragons in the whole world. 
security safe on the top of the highest mountain in the world and no one knows where the other ones are. I tried to tell you, Henry, but you wouldn't listen to me. Well, I'm certainly not going to listen to you now, Worm. I hope we haven't put you off stamp collecting, Henry. Uh, uh, no, sir. What you have to remember, Henry, is that you never know when the other purple penny dragons will turn up. Who knows? Maybe your postman might be delivering one to you right now. And he has a stamp collecting dream. Really, Peter? Yeah. Tell me more. His dream is to find a purple penny dragon. Ha! A purple penny dragon? Oh, are you a stamp collector too? No, but I bet that purple penny dragon's worth a lot of money. Well, uh, not much. A few pounds, if that. So why do you want it then? Oh, I just, uh, I like the colour purple. Well, fancy that. And I just happen to have one. Really? Of course. My kind uncle gave it to me only last week. Prove it. All right then. Meet you back here in five. Mm, that's it. Go and get your money box, Peter. Uh, what? Why? Because if she's really got a purple penny dragon, we're going to have to buy it off her. But Henry... Go and get your money box now! It's so easy being me. I'm Day four, and Perfect Peter is romping to victory with four stars to Henry's zero. Henry's going to have to do something pretty special if he wants to gobble and go. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly Josh is coming over to play, Henry. Oh, no! Jolly Josh! He's always playing practical jokes! He's going to wreck my room! Never mind, dear. Four stars! Ooh, how I love cabbage casserole! Way! Wait for me! Smell these! No, thanks. Let's play outside! <laughs> uh, but it's raining. Let's play with these. No! Uh, we could sit here and chat. Um, all right. Is everything okay, Henry? Your room looks really weird. Yeah, it's tidy. Who ever heard of a tidy bedroom? Mum said if I keep it tidy for a week, I can go to Gobble and Go! Gobble and Go? That's worth it! Unless my smelly, nappy baby brother gets more stars than me. Hmm, how many stars has he got? Four. And you? None. Hmm, then we'd better think of something very special to get you to Gobble and Go! But what? Trust me, I'm a professional. Bye, Josh! And thanks! Bye! And good luck! Well, I must say, Henry, this is really, really tidy. Thanks, Mum. But Peter's room is tidy too. Huh? That's funny, Bunny. Because I can see how hard you've worked, I'm going to give you one star. It's still not enough to beat Peter, though, is it? Maybe next time, eh? Mum! Coming, Peter! Peter! 
Peter. Uh, what a mess, Peter! I've just beaten my brother. <laughs> so, let's have a look at the final scores. Perfecto Peter has slipped up. <laughs> he has no stars. <laughs> It seems that Gobble and Go has changed hands. But, but... And now it's owned by Virtuous Veggie. Oh, how I love broccoli ice cream. Oi! 
I know you're in there. I say, hello. I'm looking for the purple hand gang. The purple what? The purple hand gang. Oh, what's the point? I'm coming down. Bit odd. Very odd, if you ask me. Here, you don't think she's Ralph's girlfriend, do you? Hope not. I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a song. I'm remembering all my happy songs to keep my spirits up. That's what the best boy's book of daring deeds suggests. Majesty, you can trust me. I will guard this with my life. Best boy's honour. Number gnome's honour. Yeah, yeah. You can rely on me, your number one chief secretary, to never let you down. Let's go find the others. And to make sure that this purple pass, this pass of purpleness, which represents so much in my life, will never... 